here you have to design an ER diagram for a commercial bank and in the question they have already mentioned the entities so the question says design a database using ER diagram for commercial bank and this commercial bank maintains information about these entities first entity is depositor and similarly account loan and branch so these are the entities that are already mentioned as we know uh, in the e while drawing the ER diagram the first step is to find out the entities and since in this question they have already mentioned the entities it makes our work a lot easier and after that they have said state any assumptions made in the design so I have written a few assumptions here regarding the bank's so, um, working system or you can say what are the features what are the services provided by the by the bank first assumption is an account can belong to multiple depositors second a loan can also belong to multiple depositors since an account can belong to multiple depositors and third is a depositor can create multiple accounts at a at a branch so these are some of the assumptions that i made because um, these are um, generally provided by these these services are generally provided by uh, most of the commercial banks you can also add a few more assumptions if you uh, are interested or if you uh, want to make it more uh, like a real banks database but since we are not uh, drawing a perfect year diagram here but we are only writing it for exam writing this much is fine and after that we will start drawing the ER diagram for which I will start with the first entity depositor and account loan and branch so the first entity here is depositor and after that you can say account another entity is loan and another one is branch so while writing down the entities make sure that you have some space between them so you can um, while writing the relationships you have extra space so let's start uh, writing down the relationships between these entities we can say depositor opens an account at this bank so name of the relationship is opens and we'll come to cardinality later a depositor borrows loan right this is another relationship between depositor and loan an account is maintained by or you can say a branch maintains a branch maintains accounts and we can also say branch offers loan okay so these are some of the basic relationships uh, that uh, you have to draw and obviously if you are drawing a uh, drawing it for a real project you can draw many more relationships but uh, for exams purpose this this much is fine after that we'll start writing the cardinality a depositor we have assumed can have multiple accounts and uh, an account can 
belong to multiple depositors so based on those assumptions we can say this is many to many relationship again between account and branch a, a branch can have multiple accounts but the same account cannot belong to more than one branch generally so we can say this is one to many relationship again between depositor and loan a depositor can borrow multiple loans also because the bank supports the joint account we can say a loan can belong to multiple depositors so this is also many to many relationship between loan and branch a loan can belong to only one branch and a branch can offer multiple loans so this is one to many relationship so now that we have done we are done with entities relationship and the cardinalities we can write down some of the attributes so in this question they have not mentioned any attribute okay they have not mentioned any attributes so we can assume the minimal the basic attributes for each entity and you can either write it down here on the table you can draw a table and you can say these are the entities we have assumed or you can directly write you can directly write down here so i'll start writing the entities here the minimal ones let's say depositor id can be one entity which is a primary key and depositors name depositors address so these are the few basic attributes for this entity obviously we can write down many more but as for exam purpose this much is fine loan can have okay uh, something i have uh, missed is this one here is total participation so it is good to draw double lines here because um, this um, loan and depositor loan and depositor has uh, total participation the loan cannot belong without depositor uh, and loan cannot belong without a branch you can draw multiple lines here double lines to show the total participation okay let's get get back to the entities uh, attributes so it can have loan id and certain amount what is the amount that was taken in this loan and an account can have account number or account id account number is the primary key so let's draw an underline here and besides it can have amount how much amount is present in, the, in this account and for branch you can write down branch id branch name and address where this plan where this branch belongs to okay these are some of the basic attributes obviously you can uh, write down a few more if you are interested but these are some of the very basic ones uh, so 
for exams purpose writing down this much is fine for the given question okay then guys uh, i hope you understood if you have any doubts you can ask in the comment section thank you for watching the video